Yo, what's good guys? I just finished with my mage blood grind and I wanna talk about it. What I did in order to get the mage blood. It definitely took me some time, but with this league, I'm just not gonna stress it. I'm just gonna play for fun and that's pretty much it. Before I get into the video, if you like the content, drop a like, drop a sub and follow me on Twitch. During September, I will try to stream every single day. So, so I league started with exclusive Eru Ballistas and that build is meant for mapping. There is no doubt about that. However, with the state of mapping, and the outreach, uh, when it came to the league start, I quickly realized that I need to actually reroll if I wanna make mass amounts of currency. But before that, I actually managed to get around 50 devices in gear and in actual currency. And for that, I did Grand Design Expedition. Now, I to this day, I, I pretty much think that Grand Design Expedition is one of the best currency makers. I will test it out later once I do my reroll for a mapper and start my mapping projects this week. However, Grand Design Expedition got me a bunch of currency. Now, if you are not familiar with Grand Design Expedition, I will link an atlas tree down in the description. The gist of it is that you want as much uh, pack size on your maps as possible and just run gilded expedition scarab. This league it's pretty easy to self-sustain your map pool uh, since every league is actually a good layout to do expedition grand design on and it's a natural t16 so you can actually horizon orb all of your t16 maps into arid lakes and then just go infinitely sustaining your map pool and you just need to buy basically gear the scarabs this whole grand design thing uh, lasted for a few days and i bought myself an apothecary card and i had some gear now then after that i realized that i wanna get some more currency apothecary cards are extremely extremely high they went up in price uh, by that point by a lot they like double tripled in like a few days so i rode to a bosser now i men mentioned bossing uh, the last video that i did and i actually did a video about bell bossing before the league even started now bossing is really lucrative you can make a lot of currency with it but you need a specialized build for that and for these reasons i actually rewrote into an explosive trapper so i had one apothecary card i sold everything from the e ballistas and managed to buy myself some gear uh, i bought my explosive trappers gear for around 25 to 30 divines and since then i'm using the exact same gear now obviously i have a mage blood on top of that so with the reroll ready to go there was just one last thing to defy which of the invitation strategies i want to use and i ended up with elder invitations now i truly believe elder invitations are the most lucrative especially if you look at cheaper versus elder uh, and this week there is a huge demand for elder fragment set now elder fragment sets um, that's usually the hard part to actually actually sell those maven maven's read you can usually sell it for for quite good uh, especially Especially like we, we are two weeks into the league that shouldn't be a problem right however this week selling elder sets are as easy as it can be people are buying it for a really good prices even so you can sell those uh, these, these are current prices you can sell one elder set for 65 c easily people are buying them in bucks of like 50 60 it doesn't matter people are buying it that ended up being extremely lucrative and i started buying a particular car now it definitely took me quite some time to actually get these since i wasn't that motivated all this drama all these things happen everything that happened this week uh it's it kind of demotivated the the person that are playing the game right uh, whenever you wake up and you oh, you see all these threads like uh, the game shit and whatnot and obviously i made videos uh, about vocalizing my my problems with this current uh, pet so yeah it wasn't easy it wasn't easy i was not motivated that much to actually grind however i did what i wanted to do what i needed to do and that is grind persevere grind a bit more uh, get the currency by the apothecary cards and eventually we ended up or i ended up at this stage where i just finished my mage blood grind <laughs> now i need to spend three extra divines on the mage blood just because it rolled um with three flesh uses and i needed to use three divines to get the four flesh uses i mean this just shows uh, how the how the uh, current situation is but nonetheless i'm happy with the mage blood uh, I will spend the better part of the day to get more capital and then I'm gonna reroll into a mapper since my mapping series will start so definitely stay tuned for that. If you are curious about the, the bossing strategy I have a video I made a video two days ago about the vaulting going over a bunch of uh, things. I did not link an access passive tree under that video just as i said in the video basically after you you spec into the top part of the address tree um all the bossing nodes and all the invitation nodes after that you can do whatever you want you can do essences you can do expedition 
you can do this you can do blind whatever floats your boat it's gonna just yield you extra currency on top of the ex actual invitation currency that you are farming so with all that being said i hope you guys found this video informative uh, if you like the content uh, drop a like drop a sub and yeah stay tuned for that as i said mapping series will start as soon as i do my reroll i will start with zero currency investment per mapping and then work my way up probably up until like mid investment because as far as i know currently the end game juicing is absolutely dead so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i see you again very soon